You remember this place? Yeah, I remember coming here. My mother used to bring us here. Tell me everything. Some things have always been. There have always been angels. There have always been demons. And they've always been at war. Nine millennia ago, one demon rose through the ranks to take power over the dark hordes. The strongest, the cruelest, Mundus. But Mundus did not rise alone. At his right hand was his most trusted lieutenant, his blood brother, Sparta. But Sparta betrayed him. He fell in love with an angel, Eva. The secret union between angel and demon was inconceivable. But it happened. And with it came new life. Twin boys. You and I. A hybrid of the warring angel and demon races. When Mundus learned of Sparta's betrayal, his fury knew no limit. He hunted the lovers down. Evil was murdered by his own hand. And for Sparta, he demanded a more brutal fate. Endless punishment and pain. But even as evil was destroyed, and Sparta was imprisoned for eternity, each knew that the seed for their revenge had already been sown. Because according to legend, the only beings that can slay a demon king are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Those hybrids now exist, you and I. Mundus believed that only one child was born. But there were two Nephilim, and each had been hidden well. Sparta armed his sons. The Rebellion for Dante. The Yamato for Virgil. So, Mundus killed our mom and imprisoned our dad? Yes. And we're the offspring of angels and demons? Demon father, angel mother. We are Nephilim. The only ones that can slay the Demon King. Good. How? Spotter. What the fuck? Fucking demon collaborators. You're being dragged into limbo. I'll find Kat. She'll get you out. Stand firm. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Will from the Will of Gaming, and we are on the third episode, Mission 3, Bloodline. Um, we learned about stylish points now, and how they work. Pretty much, we were able, we learned about it earlier. But the way that it works is that, um, and just in case if this is your first video, the way it works is that you you do combos. You build combos, and therefore it builds up a combo meter, which you see on the right. You get points. The higher that those points become, based on, uh, you can get up to... A D is your lowest, and the highest is a triple S ranking. So you build it up by doing different combos every time. So the more combos you do, the better it is. Okay, now this is the f every level has a new enemy. So now we have this Ravenger, and this enemy is kind of annoying because it will like if it hits you with a charge attack run because of the fact that it will literally stab you and take a lot of damage off you so one of the best ways to approach this enemy is also kind of roll behind it keep it in the air keep it stunned like crazy and then you shouldn't have a problem all right the doors open Dante, the Come on. so um there's a few things that can hit these poles for, you know, red orbs. There's green orb there, so you can refill your health. So, I like to destroy these little things to get every bit of orbs that you need. There is a trophy where you have to spend 20,000 red orbs in the store. I haven't been spending them, I've just been saving them. So, it's pretty cool. Alright, so... You just destroy these if you want. And then we're going to go here. Over here. 
and there's some spiders because this leads into other directions. There's more things you can knock that you can hit to get more red orbs here. So over here, if you go here and well, after this cutscene. Okay, now there's a lost soul right here that you can hit with your sword. Boom, boom, boom. You got one. Yay. So that's the first one in this in this stage. You go down this hallway. There's a secret key, but there's also some more spiders for more red orbs. There you go. Get yourself your secret key. This is the first one in the level, I think. So let's keep uh, walking down here. There's a Divinity statue, which you can choose to upgrade your weapons if you have any upgrades. If not, just skip it and go boom. Uh, more red orbs there. Climb up these stairs. And there's a Lost Soul here. So that's Lost Soul number two. Sweet. Now, uh, you're going to... Uh, I don't know, I get lost here a little bit, but you're going to go down here. And you're actually going to go back into the courtyard, which will trigger another fight. Okay, so this wave is not so bad. You know, just fight the enemies like you normally do. Basic combos will do anything. If score is not a priority, just keep hitting them with your weapons. You know, play around with your combos. Make sure you don't really get hit a lot your axe will do wonders here because the enemies are so weak also i would make this time to uh practice using your uh angel and demon weapons and how to switch them and to use the uh the lift and the pull so i would definitely like practice that um now a ravenger will pop out this is probably the toughest enemy on here but you know, Ravengers aren't that difficult. Just stun the crap out of them, make them your primary focus, and nothing should happen to you. Alright, so that door should open, which will create a lift for us to go to. Um, I think I'm just looking around to make sure that there's not anything that I'm missing. Uh, there's some green orbs if you want to heal there. Now use your angel lift to get you up there. Now you're going to walk down this hallway, and then there's another Ravenger there, so just keep attacking it. Like, remember, stun it. And if you're playing on Nephilim difficulty like I am, there will only be one there. So, yeah. So, um, now the wall should go down. There's only one enemy that you have to feel. So it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Keep going down here. There's more spiders, and there's something here. What was it? that I see. I guess it's a secret door. So you're going to angel lift yourself there. And there we go. Demon pull. And you're going to jump on these floating rocks here. But I fail. Alright, so angel lift there. There's nothing there in that hallway, so keep walking. And uh, so anyway, so we're going to angel lift because <laughs> I failed the first time. I'm sorry. Oh, but don't do what I do. I did the longer path. So you can literally just angel lift from the rock that you pulled with the demon pull. Now these floating rocks are look tricky, but they're not. Just make it to the rose. All war is fun with deceptions. You will be deceived. Your past has been hidden from you for a reason. Okay, we just got one of the most useful abilities in the game called the Angel Boost. By hitting L2 and the X button while in the air, you will do something called an angel boost, which will let you glide slightly in the air and push you forward. 
This is great for traversing and escaping enemy attacks really, really fast. It is great to reaching long distances ahead of you. So the tutorial pretty much shows you what benefits you can use it in and how you can combine it. It's not really a combo maker. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure that you can be creative with it, but um, which is what I love about this game is that you uh, could uh, keep um, being creative with the game as much as you possibly can. Once you get to this area, there's going to be, um, there's nothing there, I don't think, but there's an angel lift, so keep going. Um, um, I'm turning the camera to keep looking for stuff. So we're going to use the angel lift to get there and angel boost. Um, then you're going to keep, uh, I, every time when I get to these platforms, I can't help myself. I just have to look. I, I'm, I'm a look. I keep looking. So this one looks difficult. So angel boost, use the demon pull real quick, um, by holding the R2 square button and then you should be okay. Okay, so we see some pathos here, which um, you can literally practice on how to stay in the air forever. Flying enemies make this game extremely fun. Um, there's a secret door here, but there's a more enemies that you have to fight that are ground level, and which sucks, but oh well. So just jump down here and uh, get started on uh, just fighting the enemies. It looks like they're simplistic enemies. Uh, except for that shielded one, just use your demon pull just to uh, get rid of him. Um, normally, if if there's a big monster in the crowd, normally I save it for last. But, you know, hit it first if you know how to control the little guys. Um, so just kind of demon pull it and just let it go crazy. Now some Ravengers are going to come out, remember dodge those because they really hurt if they hit you. So just kind of like pull them, attack them, stun the crap out of them, but since there's two, it's going to be a little bit harder to dodge this time around. See they're like wrecking me right now, it's like one right after the other, you have to be really careful. Um, so kind of focus on one, don't really focus on both of them, just one would, would normally fix it. Um, so that one dropped some green orbs, so we got healed a little bit, uh, and just keep kind of just rolling back, hit a couple times, and then just stun the hell out of it, and just go for it, and just boom, boom, boom. But if you see it glowing, do not go for the attack. All right, and this opens a door. This is uh, actually one of the uh, simp like the quickest missions in the game. It's definitely one of the easiest ones to triple S rank. So yeah, this is actually really cool. Okay, sorry about that. A little skip here. Um, so you're gonna still be up there in the platform. You're just gonna jump up here, and then you're gonna kind of use your new ability to get to the secret door, which is the L2 X button in the air. Now here's the secret room. Yay! So when you get into there, it's gonna be beautiful, wonderful light. All and then there you go. So it says what goes around. So in this mission, you have to focus on. You cannot damage the enemy. Like you can't do anything to them, no, no matter what you do. So you have to have the enemies. You uh, you have to use the enemies to attack the other enemies. So this is what I like to do. 
uh, to control the enemies, I use the uh, the angel weapon and the circle button to to lift the enemies up in the air until I see a grenade hit the ground, and then I let it I let them get blown up in it. It's a way to control the enemies. Boom! So we got we got rid of uh, two there, three. That one was th that that's pretty easy. It look it sounds difficult, but it's really easy because you can repel the uh, the grenades back at the flying enemies and stuff. Just don't kill the flying enemies, and then you should be fine. So we are really close. We are really pretty much done with this mission, I believe. And then you just have to um, use your new angel ability to boost to the end of this level. Um, you can go to the divinity statue if you want to. So just use your angel boost twice here. And that's the end of the mission. Silver Sachs Tower, the world's most powerful investment bank. And who runs it? CEO, Kyle Ryder, a human vessel, the physical manifestation of Mundus, the Demon King. Through debt, he controls everything. To Mundus, the world is a factory farm for human souls, and he likes to keep his animals monitored and docile. The monitoring is done by the Raptor News Corporation, a global network of CCTV cameras, satellites, and spies. The way he keeps us docile is uh, a little more insidious. What is it? It's in your hand. Planet Earth's most popular soft drink, Virility. The demons have spiked it. It's okay. It has no effect on us, only humans. Slip out of me in a can. So what's the plan? That's the Hellgate, a conduit from which Mundus draws his power. While he's connected to the Hellgate, he's immortal. But we get him away from the Hellgate, and our swords will do the rest. So, how do we do that? We get his attention. Mundus is petty. He's impulsive. If we hit him where it hurts, let his anger rule him, I believe we can draw him out. Okay, so, to kill Mundus, we need to drag him away from the Hellgate. We do that by pissing him off. Roughly speaking, yes. And we piss him off by taking out the Raptor News Network and Virility. That's it. Which one do you want to do first? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My score, of course, is not on par or great, but I'm happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.